Well, now it's time for viewers' feedback. And this week's letter comes from Tony M. King. And he writes, During a long lineup at a car wash, should I leave my car running at idle or shut it off and start again when the line starts to move? Well said. Well, I'm assuming he also means on the freeway or stuck in traffic or something. And the answer is, sure, shut it off. The way cars are made these days, I mean, it's not going to hurt the engine to shut it off like that. And, and the, I think he's probably thinking about the old days when the carburetor would probably uh, flood or something well, or, or, or would vapor, vapor lock or something. I kind of disagree there. I, I think that there are very few circumstances when you're in control of a car where you can actually shut off the engine. Don't forget you lose all your ancillaries these days with a car. You have no power steering or power brakes. Yeah, the car but, becomes a real lump of lead. But if, your car, if you leave a car idling for more than 30 seconds, you are polluting the atmosphere, and that is a consideration given the number of cars That's around true, today. but but it could be also be argued that when you the, the most of the pollution occurs during startup. When you start the car up, if it's idling at, at almost no rev, not you know, true, not true. That's true with cold starts, but not when the car is warmed up, especially not the uh, kind of efficient engine they're making these days. Well, I think I think there's a safety thing here, and maybe an environmental thing, and it's an, a good question after all. Yeah, we, <laughs> we didn't think it would be, but it does make some sense. I. Uh, Personally, if you ask me, I never shut mine off. But now that I think about it, you probably yeah. should have. Well, it, if it I can't have, hurt. Let, me, let me say this. I, I, I shut mine off if I have time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your letter, Tony. If we use your letter on driver's seat, we'll send you a driver's seat T-shirt. And here's where to write. Driver's seat, post office box 3301, Vancouver, B.C., V6B, 3Y3. That's driver's seat, P.O. box 3301, Vancouver, B.C., V6B, 3Y3. Time now to summarize today's cars. We like both of these cars quite a lot, with some qualifications. The 240SX, we feel, is a very good sports car. I especially like the fact that it's rear drive, and we, we think this is a worthy competitor in this market segment, a lot of car for the money. The Acura Legend Coupe, on the other hand, we do like it. Very good-looking car. Tony has a big problem with headroom. Didn't bother me too much. We both got a big problem with runaway acceleration on the uh, Legend Coupe. Well, I'll live with the acceleration. Just lower the driver's seat for me. Well, that's all for this week, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Coming soon on Driver's Seat. Suzuki Swift GT, the Plymouth Laser, and the Toyota Camry. So join us then and we'll put you in the driver's seat.